Hello everyone and welcome to one of my favorite times of the month. It is time for me to open my Sephora play box! I am especially excited this month because I feel like I've been getting a lot of like comments and tweets and stuff from you guys saying, Cassie, 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 have you gotten your Sephora play yet? Which makes me think this box is going to be amazing! So just really quick before I crack into my box, if you are new to my channel, hello! Or if you're new to Sephora play, it is basically just Sephora's monthly subscription service that they do. They include six samples in each box slash bag. It's a bag inside of a box <laughs> type of a thing. They include six samples in each one of the bag. Five of them are like deluxe samples or whatever and then one of those samples to make six is that I'm not making any sense. Five of the samples are like deluxe beauty samples and then one of the samples in the bag is a perfume sample. The perfume sample is supposed to be viewed as like extra. So there's six samples in total in here. I always find it very fun to see what they curated from month to month. Some months are definitely not so great and some months are really great. It is ten dollars a month plus tax whatever your state does for tax and yeah I'm very excited very excited to crack on into mine so looks like a cute little card here it says September 2017 fall into beauty so there I'm assuming thinking about fall products in here it's still really hot out in Minnesota as of right now and very humid so I'm personally not thinking of fall quite yet but I'm dreaming of it I'm really dreaming. And then with each one of these, you do get one of these play passes from Sephora. It's got all the products listed on the back, so if you want to bring it in and have the associates there tell you about the products, they can do that. Otherwise, with a purchase in store, you can go ahead and bring one of these to the register, and they will scan it in, and you will get 50 extra beauty insider points. So the pamphlet has all of the products in it and everything, so I don't want to look. But the actual bag, it's a pink silky bag this month, and it says a change of face on here. So go ahead and open this up. I always like to try and find the perfume sample first because it's my least favorite part of the bag and I can't seem to find it. I'm very confused. So perfume might not be the first thing that I get this month. <laughs> I've never had this much trouble trying to find the perfume sample. Okay, well I'm gonna go with a squishy packet. Okay, honestly, like this is really kind of upsetting to get this in a Sephora play bag. Not because the brand is bad, just because like really a squeezy packet of shampoo and conditioner? Are you serious? <laughs> like in this kind of a subscription bag, I kind of expect to get deluxe size samples, not this kind of a sample. I'm just saying. But this is the IGK Hot Girls Hydrating Shampoo and Hydrating Conditioner. It's going to be deeply moisturizing and is for damage control. I mean, okay, the things I've tried from IGK have been really awesome and they smell really good, so I'm excited in that sense. But like I said, I would expect like a little bottle of this or something rather than just one of these rippy packets. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll see what else is in here. Maybe it'll make up for it. Huh, makeup for it? Because it's a makeup? Okay, anyways. Haven't we gotten this in like multiple Sephora plays before? <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be so disappointed with this stuff if people hadn't seemed like so excited. I mean, maybe they got better bags than me, but okay, anyways. This is the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof. And this is in the shade 01 Black Lace. I don't know that we've gotten the black one from Sephora before. I've definitely gotten, I think it was a blue one. And I think I've also gotten like kind of a taupey brown from them. These are great eyeliners. It's just like how many black eyeliners do I need type of a thing. I wish I could have gotten one of the fun colors. But that is, it is what it is. You know, it's a black eyeliner pencil. I, I can't lie to you guys, I'm not super excited about that. And next up, we'll go for this big cardboard thingy. All right, so this is an Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Amulet. I am definitely excited to try this out. I actually haven't tried out the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick formula before, and this looks like a good semi-universally nudey kind of a pink color, so I'm actually very excited about this one. Yay, Sephora, yay! Although I feel like I haven't heard the greatest things about the these liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay, I'm still excited to try it out. I'm sure I'll end up doing a let's test on this. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that, but I'm, this is yay, yay, first yay for me for this box, slash bag. And next up in here, we've got three things. Where's the perfume sample? I mean, the other two are like pots, so I'm assuming it's this. I don't know that I got a perfume sample this month, you guys. I mean, okay, maybe the shampoo and conditioner was like my perfume sample? 
I'm very confused. But this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Is it in the shade number five? Is that why there's a five on the top? It is in the shade number five, and I think this shade is a little bit too dark for me, at least like facing looking at that online. So this I'll probably end up giving away to like somebody, you know, I'll probably put it in a giveaway or something. But that is a really nice deluxe size sample. I tried the Gimme Brow before they did the repackaging and everything, and I just kind of thought it was okay, like it was fine, but you know, I know a lot of people really love the Gimme Brow, so I am excited to be able to give this away to somebody. The new packaging is super duper cute. And la no, not last but not least, I've got two little things here. This feels like one of those belief products. <laughs> Do I know my stuff? Sometimes. Only sometimes. So this is the Belief Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I feel like we got this in a Sephora play before. Or was it a different one from the Belief line? I'm not completely sure, but I know a lot of people love these moisturizers. I remember really liking that one that I tried out. It was super duper moisturizing and just felt really lightweight and just nice on the skin. So I'm excited to have this. I love that the top of it looks like a little top hat. It's super cute and that's a nice size sample. So I am very happy about that. And last but not least here. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm actually using the eye cream, I think, from this same line right now. This is the Alginist Power Recharging Night Pressed Serum. And this one says to apply to the entire face, neck, and decollete, avoiding the eye area. Okay, so I'm excited. I really have been enjoying the night cream from this line. And I think the night cream is the same in that it's like a pressed formula type of thing, a pressed serum. I mean, it's just like a very solid cream, I guess. And I think it's really nice underneath the eyes. So I am excited to use this at night. So honestly, this wasn't my favorite bag. It was just kind of okay okay for me. I'm glad some of you guys really liked your bags this month. I'm gonna assume that this shampoo was like supposed to be my perfume sample or something. I'm super confused about that. Let's see if Sephora explains this to me in the pamphlet. It says, every beauty talks. Since you don't have to worry about makeup melting off in the heat, try cream formula for fall. It won't crack and flake in the cooler air. And also, this is the perfect month to play with chocolate, burgundy, and plum shades. Funny that they didn't include a chocolate burgundy or plum shade in my bag. <laughs> but all right, pun game strong so far. It says it's fall good. <laughs> Take a turn for the boulder with this month's autumn edit of head turning hues and autumn ready beauty. For the gimme brow, we've got brow and forever. For the liner, it says your partner in line. <laughs> For the Alginist Serum, it's on the night side. The Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick is a matte made in heaven. The belief is a cream come true. And okay, yes, the hair sample was supposed to be instead of the perfume sample. It says this month's bonus, here we go. So I feel a lot better now knowing that that hair sample thing was the bonus item or whatever. Like I said, the perfume sample is never my favorite anyways. Like it's okay. When one of the perfumes works on me, you know, it's nice, but a lot of times they don't work on me because perfumes are so very personalized. It's different on everybody type of a thing and everybody likes the different kinds of scents and whatnot. So I wish I would have known that going in so I wouldn't have started off so negative. Sorry about that. But like I said, again, this really wasn't my favorite bag ever, but you know, there's still some good stuff in here that I'm happy to have. I never feel like the Sephora play boxes are a waste of my money. I always feel like, if anything, it's just a nice surprise for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely, like I said, let me know down in the comments below what you got in your box or bag this month. If you loved it, if you hated it, if you get Sephora play, if you don't, if you want to, all that good stuff. I just always love hearing from you guys. And as always, I just hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, whatever the case may be. If you did, please do go Go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!